Wind Hills, a Minecraft mod for the greatest Guinness World Record winning Minecraft MMORPG server Windcraft that seeks out to enhance the user's gameplay with a variety of customizable options and additions, allowing the users to change everything in the way they want and enhance the overall Windcraft experience. With that in mind, Windhills has changed the way people play Windcraft. Despite adding a mini-map and a world map with loads of waypoints so the players don't get lost anymore and can find things easily. By adding loot ramp halves so people can find rare items easily as well as allowing them to filter for specific items. By improving the quest book which allows players to easily find quests to do as well as adding a discovery list, an item guide and custom quest tracking. Some other cool features include a prettier health, mana and experience bar, more visual effects such as fireflies in the light forest, consumable overlay, quick spell casting, item locker, a bank searching feature, and so much more. This mod was first released on November 12, 2019. This for Minecraft Forge version 1.12.2. This seems to be the best version to play Windcraft with, but since then, another mod loader called Fabric has grown a lot in size. While Forge is performance heavy, Fabric is more lightweight, which means you are going to have more FPS with it which is especially important for a server like Windcraft, in which there are a ton of armor stands as well as many particles which can completely drain your FPS. Some other issues with using 1.12.2 on Windcraft these days is that you actually have a disadvantage because the old movement system does not allow for swimming which allows you to travel a lot faster in water as well as it being an old version of Minecraft released in 2017 which means most new mods are not going to support it. Because of this, the Wintels team started a project called Project Artemis in September 2021, which would be a new version for Wintels that players would be able to use with Fabric version 1.18.2. This required a complete rewrite of the code, but now, over a year later, it is finally in a good state and has most of the features the old version of Wintels had. With this, everyone is now able to play the game with the features they have gotten so used to on 1.18.2. With all the other great mods that have been developed for this version, such as performance boosting mods like Sodium, Coal Leaves, Laser DFU, Lithium, Starlight, Dynamic FPS, Entity Calling, Fast Chest, Ferret Core, Krypton, and Better Beds. Mods to improve the visuals like Iris, Falling Leaves, and Affected. Mods to improve the audio experience like Present Footsteps, Dynamic Sound Filters, and Carmonium. There are also mods that can extend the render distance almost infinitely, so that the players can finally see the entirety of the beautiful Windcraft map. For this, you can use Bobby or Distance Horizons. Distance Horizons might not look as good, but it allows for much higher render distance, while Bobby allows you to extend your render distance a little without causing too much lag. There are also many more mods that you can get, such as Voices of Win, which is the mod that adds voice acting to Windcraft NPCs. There's no way I'm jumping down there, you maniac! Yeah! In my opinion, a must have. To get wind tilts for 1.80.2, you first need to download the fabric installer. Once downloaded, open it and choose client and Minecraft version 1.18.2 and click install. Now under percent app data percent dot Minecraft, you should have a mods folder. This is where you're going to put all of your mods. Next, just download the fabric API mod, which is necessary for a lot of mods to work and then go to the first link in the description to get to this page where you can download the Wintels Artemis project. Once downloaded, just move these two files in your mods folder and you're good to go. You can now also download any other mods you want, such as Voices of Win, and put them in here. Just make sure that every mod you download is for Fabric version 1.18.2, otherwise your Minecraft won't work. To now play the game, just start the Minecraft launcher, select Fabric Loader 1.18.2 and hit play. Now that we have this mod installed, let's take a look at it in-game. You will directly be greeted by this beautiful class menu. Just go ahead and create a new class or choose one of your existing ones so we are able to change some settings. The first thing I would do is move this dialog box down so that it isn't in the middle of your screen. So open your quest book, go to overlay configurations, free move and then you can change the scale and position to whatever you want. I'm personally going to make it a longer less thick and put it above my hotbar. If you want to move anything else around then feel free to do so here as well. 
I'm just going to make my quest info tracker as well as my map a little bit smaller. Now to some other settings. First of all, if you press escape, options, controls, keybinds and scroll down, you find a lot of things you can add keybinds for, such as auto spell casting, a gamma bright button to light up dark places, a lock slot button, a button to automatically mount your horse and more. Once you are satisfied with your controls, we can change some other settings by opening the quest book and clicking on configuration. Here you can change a lot of things. I personally don't like the way the minimap looks by default. So I will just search for map and go to the minimap settings. Here I will change my map type to rectangular as well as disabling player rotation so that the map doesn't fly around in circles if you move around. Now you can change whatever more setting you want. Just search for whatever feature you want to change and a bunch of settings will pop up. If you for example don't like the custom dialog box, you can turn it off in the NPC dialog overlay or enable an auto progress feature. In these settings you can also remove that box that's behind the dialog as well as changing the color if you don't want it green anymore. Hopefully there will be more settings for this in the future so we can get it to look like a triple A game, something like this maybe. And now just enjoy playing Windcraft with all these amazing features exactly how you want to. Make sure to subscribe if you found this useful for more videos like this. And if you want to get more info on the Distance Horizons mod to get infinite render distance and to make your game look sick without losing too many FPS, then check out the video on your screen right now. But thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!